Hello gang, it's Thursday the 9th of March 2017. Welcome along to today's United Kingdom talk. We well, want just a recording today. Rush, rush, rush. It's all rushed here. Um, and uh, I hope it's okay. I've put in a pie in the oven. That's a day out of date. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? It's a corn steak pie, which has got no meat in it. It just tastes like, it kind of tastes like steak. So I've got that in the oven at the minute. One day I, 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 I'm sure that would be okay, wouldn't it? Anyway, greetings to you boys and girls. Uh, after I finished chatting to you yesterday, uh, we went, I went out for dinner with my mate. We went chip shop dinner yesterday. Oh yes. And they keep, they've changed the name of the chip shop to Churchill's. Oh, that sounds, that sounds very posh, doesn't it? Don't you think that sounds posh for a chip shop? Churchill's chip shop. It's had three different names, that chip shop, in the time that I've been here, which is about 25 years. When I moved here, it was called Dorothy's. Then later on, it was called Chick and Chips. And now it's called Churchill's. Oh, it makes it sound ever so posh. <laughs> Not with me going in there, I don't think so. I had chips and uh, vegetable nuggets, which I've never had before. Very, very nice, actually. They're these little, little things and made out of vegetables, you know, the sort of thing. And... Um, onion rings and chips and my mate just had chips and a cup of tea I had he had a can of coke and that comes about £10.50 that's not bad for two lunches is it £10.50 so we had that um, after that we popped over to Waitrose because I needed some cat food that's three times we've been this week dear I mean we're very very popular in there I tell you with the amount of money even the manager drops everything he does and comes over and says hello to us now and we have of course the lovely Linda and Jackie on customer services. We always stop there and have a little bit of a chat at with them. Ronnie has started um, asking for their used coffee because they've got one of those coffee machines there. And if you are a regular customer, you get free coffee or free tea. And he now takes away the used coffee and puts it on his garden. Apparently, it makes the garden grow very well. I don't know if you know anything about that at all. Perhaps you could put a little message on there. Or you can always email the show. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is uh, my email address. But uh, yes, he gets the great big... What happens is that they make the coffee and then... The, what would you call it, spent coffee is dispensed into a large, like, you know, waste bag type thing. And uh, he asks for that and they just give it to him and he takes it away, puts it on his garden. It's better than going to a landfill site, isn't it? I would imagine it make the earth more acidic, though, do you not think so? Anyone got any experience of putting coffee on their plants? Anyway, you'd like to know, just stick a little message underneath that. Uh, and I went in there for cat food. What Ronnie does when I say I need cat food, and he's got four cats... I mean, he gets for an absolute fortune in cat, and he buys the special cat food. Oh, no whiskers for him. Oh, no. He gets the one with like 60 or 70 percent meat in it. My cat, not interested. Common as muck, my cat. <laughs> she, she, she eats she eats the cheapest one. Well, she don't eat the cheapest one possible. She likes Felix doubly delicious, you know, and in between walking round in circles or sitting next to the radiator, waiting for it to come on. She does occasionally get up for something to eat. And she don't always eat it all. I leave it down for a few hours. If she doesn't want it, then it goes outside and, and a random cat from the area eats it up. So it doesn't get wasted. I hate food waste. I'd much rather give it to a stray cat. Or maybe there's a fox. Well, there is foxes. Uh, we get foxes walking past my back front door sometimes. I've seen them at night and they're only, only too happy to have a meal or two. Or a hedgehog. I've had a hedgehog out there. Oh, yes, dear. It's practically like living in a Windsor Safari Park here. Except it's not Safari Park anymore. It's Legoland, isn't it? Used to be Windsor Safari Park, Danny. Uh, so he goes online and checks where they're doing deals. One of the supermarkets always has some sort of deal on cat food. And it just happened today to be Waitrose. And it was, I think, three for £11. Which isn't too bad. Usually they're about £4.60 each. So that's four. 12, 12, 13. So that's nearly 14 pounds, isn't it? So we got that for 11 pounds. So a saving of three pounds. Gring! We do like that noise, saving. So this time it was at Waitrose. Sometimes it's at Sainsbury's. Sometimes it's at Pets at Home. You know, goes to Pets at Home. Sometimes it's cheaper there. Oh, today it was Waitrose. Came back here and I was really tired when I got back for some reason. So I went straight to bed. Uh, that was about, about three o'clock in the afternoon, actually. I got up again at um, quarter to six at night. 
made myself a cup of tea. Uh, I don't eat before I leave the the, the house anymore uh, since I got that IBS problem. But that's, <laughs> you did you know what I mean? You know, uh, yes, I, I don't eat anymore before I leave the house. So what I do is I make myself a cup of tea and I take that in the car with me. And I leave half an hour after I've got up, after I've done my hair. You know, it takes me ages, as you can see. Uh, and uh, I drove to work. Uh, traffic, no problem at all. In fact, uh, you remember way back in November now, the, the uh, terrible traffic time I was having with traffic. Since Christmas, that has not been there. It, 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 it's, it's kind of normal now. I'm getting about an hour and a half, an hour and a 40 minutes, which I can stomach. That's completely normal for me to take about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes to get to work. And it's about an hour and 10 minutes to get home. I could do it faster, you know, if I went as fast as the speed limit. But I'm quite happy to go uh, on the motorway, as you well know, 55 mile an hour, thereabouts. Vectis rang in yesterday. Did you hear Vectis? He's disgusted that I, I go on the motorway at 55 mile an hour. <laughs> I'm in the inside lane. What you moaning about, man? God's sake. So, I mean, very good with the traffic at the moment. It's no problem whatsoever and hasn't been at all, not on one single day since Christmas. So may, may that carry on. Um, the quiz, good night last night. Uh, Ray Reynolds and his team won again. I think that's the second time they've won. So congratulations to Ray Reynolds and his team. There was Ray, Paul... Pete, and I can't remember the other bloke's name. Oh, and James T was there as well from karaoke fame. They were all there last night and they won by one point. The Short Planks were a regular team there. I think they got 35 and a half and Ray's team got 36 and a half. So congratulations to them. Very, very good to Ray's team there. Uh, came home and went to bed. Got up this morning. Um... Uh, oh, one of the teams last night has left now. They've uh, is a bloke and is um I think it's I think it's just a fr a lady friend of his. I don't think they're together, but they were always coming on a Wednesday night. And just was leaving last night. He said, "Well, that's the last time you'll see us now." And he was such a nice man, middle aged man. Uh, he's gone to do a job in Germany, so uh, won't be seeing him anymore. It's always very sad, you know, when someone you see him week in week out, and then suddenly they're gone. And um, the amount of people that that's happened over the years, it's nice when they get a chance to say goodbye to you, you know, sometimes they just disappear and you never see them again. And you do wonder where those uh, people went. You know, people that have spoke to you sometimes for, for a number of years and, and then they're just gone again. But, um, you know, that's that's the way it is, unfortunately. Um, and talking to Germany this morning, actually, walking up to the swimming pool today, I've got a phone call on it. Ring, ring. And uh, it said Germany on that. I thought, well, that's strange. Anyway, I took the phone call and it was Toyota. Toyota, ringing about my RAV4, asking me questions on it. You know, did I know this? Did I know that? How I was getting on with it? Are you pleased with it? That sort of thing. So that was quite nice. Um, they were they were saying to me, you know, if the battery on your little handset dies, do you know how to start your car? And I'm like, well, no, no one's ever told me. So he then explained to me how that was done. You can apparently start... I've got a button on my car, you know, push it. You can apparently still start the car if the battery is dead on the remote the remote control. And I thought, that's a good idea. On the other hand, how do you get in? You know, that... <laughs> do you see what I mean? How do you get in the car then? It's all right if you're in there and the battery's dead. I should have asked him that, really. And then there was some other stuff he was saying. Do you know how to do this? And I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue what he was talking about. Anyway, so that was this morning. Uh, went swimming... Unfortunately, I missed the lady who was supposed to be calling in about my um, uh, calling me about that spacer I've got to have on the asthma thing. At the moment, I'm not taking my steroid inhaler, um, which which doesn't seem to be causing me much of a problem, to be honest. It's been, I think, three days since I had some of the steroid inhaler and I'm not, you know, I'm not, as you can hear, I'm not really fighting for breath or anything, so um, maybe I could uh, uh, do without that now. It'd be nice, you know, to, to not have to take so many pills and things and what have you. So that was that. I went swimming and then uh, walked back here and here I am talking to you. And uh, very nice to see so many beautiful flowers at the moment. I must say, we've got crocuses, croci, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's uh, daffodils all out everywhere. Um, a, a little bit early, I would say, this year. Normally, where's that calendar? Let's put it over there now. Normally, I would have said, oh, I don't know, actually. You know, halfway through March, you expect the daffodils and the crocus out. So a little bit early because it's lovely and warm out there, you know. It's absolutely lovely out there. 
I didn't have a coat on. All I had was my hooded top, and I was a bit hot in that. So that's all nice. Uh, I've got my... I, I don't know if I told you. I booked one of those sun holidays. Now, I've told you about these, haven't I? And you don't have to buy a copy of the sun to get the cheap holidays. All you do is type into your search thing, sun holiday codes, and you'll get a, a website come up with the sun holiday codes. Then go on the sun website on the ho holiday section and you type in these codes and the dates that you want and where you want to go and you get dirt cheap holidays. Well, I've booked one. I bought one. Cost me... Um, well, the basic price was £80, OK, but I've had to pay an extra £33.40. This was like a service charge, you know, so you can use the swimming pool and all that. But I probably won't want to be using that. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll ring them up. Uh, although it does say here, balance due by 7th of March. Well, it only came today, the letter. So I'll give them a ring if, as soon as I've had my dinner because I've got my dinner in the oven. That's why it's a short show today. I've got my dinner in the oven and it will be another... 10 minutes. Nice pie in the other. Nice pie. Nice pie. And then I'll uh, ring these and rebook them. But the whole holiday for four nights in a comfort caravan at Tattershaw Lakes Country Park has cost me £113.40. That's good, isn't it? And it's only £33.40. I think that's because of the date. It's, it's the Easter uh, period. So, quite pleased about that. Now, I've gone on the website and... The same caravan, comfort caravan, right, for four nights, £250.80. So that is some saving, isn't it? I've got it for £113.40. Total price, £250.80. So I'm well pleased about that. That is something you want to do. Have a look on the sun. Remember, type in sun holiday vouchers, OK? You'll get some codes on there. Then go on the Sun website, or I think there's a link there, actually, on the thing. Then you can go on that, click the link or go on the Sun website, Sun Holidays, and uh, type in what you want, and you'll get a dirt cheap holiday, and it'll be nice as well. All right, see? There's me thinking about you. I've done it myself. You have a go yourself. Perhaps you'd like to come to Tattershaw Lakes with me. We can have one big holiday together. How fabulous would that be? Or we'll have our own little caravan. We'd have a little party in my, my caravan as well at night time. We'll have to be quite quiet. And no alcohol, because I don't drink alcohol. It'd just be tea. Well, uh, the occasional glass of champagne if I'm feeling quite posh. OK? A uh, couple of messages from yesterday's show, boys and girls, that came in. Uh, hello to Joanna, who says, on the subject, we were talking about funerals yesterday. My funeral is all planned and paid for. It would not matter if people took pictures. My funeral is to be a celebration. Wonderful songs with singing. I don't want people crying. Absolutely, Joanna. Life is a celebration. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Life is a... Now, what was that? Oh, that was from the TV series Fame. Do you remember that, Joanna? Oh, I used to love that. Da, na, 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 na. Baby, look at me and tell me what you see. You ain't seen the best of me yet. Give me time, I'll make you forget the rest. Oh, I used to love that TV series fame. Around about 1982, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Thank you, Joanna. Uh, and hello to... Where's that message gone? Uh, hello to Josh, who says... Uh, we were talking about funerals yesterday. And, um, you know, whether or not you want people to take pictures, I never see anyone get out a camera at a funeral. Maybe they would might think it's a bit... Um, disrespectful to the person who's dead. I don't. I don't think it's disrespectful at all. I don't think my mother would have liked that. Perhaps that's a different age, you know. I'm not sure my mother would would, would agree with people taking pictures at funerals, but I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I really don't. And um, uh, Josh says, I haven't planned my funeral yet, but if I did, then I wouldn't have a problem with people taking photos. So there we go. Uh, there's another one from Josh. Hello, Josh. Nice to see you, sir. Don't, don't hear from you much. I know you do your own shows and all that. Thank you, Josh. Um, we've got Kevin and Ray. What's going on there? I think they're having a private conversation. Having a private conversation on my wall, Kevin and Ray. You carry on, boys. Don't worry about me sitting here, you know, doing nothing. You know, it's OK with me. Don't worry about me. All right, boys. Um, where do the birthdays? Um, I meant to read you this story here, actually. Flop gear. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of Top Gear. Didn't really do it for me. It was a little bit too too blokey for me. You know, a little bit too blokey for me. But um, 
as you well know, Jeremy Clarkson upset a few people and the non-politically correct people with no sense of humour got made, made sure they got rid of him. I think that's what all that was about. But they've tried twice now. And uh, in uh, Tuesday's Daily Mail, it says, uh, if the BBC was hoping its revamped Top Gear with Matt Lee Blank, is it Matt Lee Blank, would be a speeding success, it was bitterly disappointed yesterday. Overnight data revealed the BBC Two colour show on Sunday night was seen by an average of 2.8 million viewers, nearly 2 million viewers down from its series uh, last year. Top Gear's series launched in 2016 with Chris Evans had scored 4.4 million viewers overnight. Uh, and and um, uh, the reviewer, Christopher Stevens, just didn't like it. And um, I, I think um, uh, it, apparently, do you know, it's two years. It's two years since Jeremy Clarkson uh, biffed that the office junior uh, uh, hit, hit him. He, he hit one of his staff. <laughs> oh, so what? God's sake, people always have fights. Why do you have to make so much a big thing about it? But it's two years since he was gone. And um, I don't know. I think so. they should just drop the whole thing, really. It's, it's not really working for them, is it? You know, it don't matter what a, what a big star that you have. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a success with a programme. You could get like a nobody, someone who's never been on television, and um, it could be an instant success. It's all about the formula and the chemistry. I've seen this on commercial radio before where they where they pick two stars, you know, perhaps television stars, and they put them together on commercial radio to do the breakfast show. And it's just so fake. Fake, fake, fake. We don't like fake. One other little thing here. Look at this. Did you have one of those little Nokia 3310s? Well, as you probably know already, they've brought it out again. They've, they've updated it a little bit, but it's basically the same. Uh, it seems customers can't wait to get their hands on the Nokia 3310s. This is in today's mail. Carphone Warehouse has announced the record numbers of people have pre-registered because it's only 41 quid. Now, bear in mind, it is only a phone. It's not a smartphone. You're not going to be able... You don't want to buy one of these as a viewer to this show because you won't be able to watch me. Oh, my God, please don't buy one. We can't afford to lose viewers. Christ almighty, we've got enough... We're losing them left, right and centre here. Please don't go and buy one of these. They say the 3310 has attracted... Ten times more interest than any other flagship phone previously launched at the Mobile World Conference. The new 3310 attracted huge interest after details emerged from its manufacturer. So that's great. I mean, it's great. It's light and durable. 22 hours talk time. Can you do that on your phone? 22 hours talk time. And when, when they say 22 hours talk time, that means when you turn the phone, if you was to ring someone up, you could talk nonstop for 22 hours. Do you know, I think I could do that. I do think I could do that. Talk for 22 hours. Uh, it's in four colours, red, yellow, dark, blue and grey. And it does look nice. I've got to say, it looks really nice. Um, it's only got 2.5 gig internet capability. I, I'm not quite sure what it does on the internet. I doubt very much that you can watch, watch, watch things like YouTube and all that. Let's have a quick look. I mean... Uh... No, no, I, it doesn't. I, it, it says it browses, though. I mean, it's a very small screen to see browsing. Do you remember WAP? Oh, what a disaster. That that never, never took off that WAP, did it? It just did not work there. So there we are, the Nokia 3310. Perhaps you're going to get one, are you? Mm -hmm. Let's do today's birthdays, boys and girls. Uh, happy birthday today to Mark Andrews. Happy birthday, Mark, to Raymond Brown, who's 45 today. Danny Hillian. Uh, Hillian, who's 46 today. Happy birthday, Danny. Sheila Smith. Happy birthday, Sheila. Phyllis Esme Dubois. Happy birthday. Banker, oh, Bancha Rykum. Is it Bancha, Bancha, not Blanca, no, Bancha Rykum, I think it is, 47 today. Uh, Rick Porter, regular viewer to this show. Happy birthday, Rick. And Dane Beresford is 28 years old today. Happy birthday, Dane. Here comes the piano. And now the singing. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Enjoy your birthday. It's a wonderful day out there. 
It's beautiful out there. It's like the first day of spring. It really is. That's it for the show today. Thursday night, I'll be doing some DJing tonight at uh, the Two Brewers in Clapham, starting at 10 o'clock and finishing at 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's my late one tonight. I'll be, I'll be like that on the way home. <laughs> okay, have a nice Thursday, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Cheerio now.